let's do work problem. Now remember, work is defined to be a force through a distance. So when we do these, we're going to want to draw our object, and then the direction of the force. If the force is to the right, and the displacement is to the right, then the work is FD. If the force is to the right, but, say, the displacement to the left for some reason, then the work is going to be minus FD. I guess a um, better example of this would be if, say, we had friction. And so friction is going to the left, but our displacement is to the right. If that's the case, then the work done by friction is going to be minus the force of friction times the displacement. That minus sign is important. If I wanted to find the total work done by the system, a couple ways we could do it. The total net work is going to be the work done by my applied force minus my work done by friction. Let's see, another way we could do this is this is the net force, remember from Newton's uh, law, times the displacement. So we could do this any number of ways. The only other thing you really need to remember is that when you have an object of weight, Fg, and you move it, you need to determine whether Fg is going in the direction of the displacement, in which case the work is Fg times D, which is MgD, or if the displacement is positive, then the work done by gravity is going to be Fg times negative D, or minus MgD. Let's look at this problem. I have a 196 Newton suitcase. Now, when I give you 196 Newtons, I'm telling you the weight. So, Fg is 196 Newtons. And it's being raised 3 meters above a platform by a crane. So, I have Fg and D is going up. How much work is done on the suitcase? Now, I'm going to see if the work is done by uh, gravity. So, if the work is done by gravity, this is going to be minus because D and FG are in different directions. Minus FG times D or minus 196 newtons times 3 meters or negative 588 joules. Now, that's one way to interpret this problem. Another way to interpret this problem is the work done by a force being applied up. If I'm looking at the, at the force that's being applied up, then I have to assume it's just overcoming gravity, and in which case the work done by F is going to be FD, and in this case I'm going to assume F is equal to FG, so this is 196 newtons times 3 meters, or 588, excuse me, 588 joules. Now suppose I have a tugboat, and it's being pulled with a constant force of 5,000 newtons. So F is 5,000 newtons. It causes the ship to move to the harbor. How much work is done if it moves a distance of 3,000 meters? So it's going to move a distance. 3,000 meters. Now clearly F and D are in the same direction. So F times D has to equal the work done on the ship. So this is 500, oh excuse me, 5,000 newtons times a displacement of 3,000 meters. So this is 15, and I'm going to count my zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six joules. A 
weight lifter lifts a set of weights a vertical distance of two meters. Okay, great. So I know my distance is two meters. If a constant net, net force of 350 meters is exerted on the weights, so what's the net work done on the weights? Well, the net work is F net times D. Now this is your net force, so we're not worrying about the weight of the weights themselves. So this is 350 newtons times the vertical displacement of 2.00 meters. Now because these are in the same direction, we're going to get a positive 700 joules. Now a loaded sled Here's my sled. Requires a force of 250 newtons applied horizontally to push it across wet snow. How far can it be pushed? So how far? So I'm looking for delta X or D. Can it be pushed with 800,000 800, joules of work? So in this case, my work is 8. We're looking for D. Well, work is FD. So D is the work divided by the force applied. The work is 800,000 joules divided by the force, which is 250 newtons. So I get a displacement of 3,000 to Now, for number five, I have a worker is pushing a 1,500-newton crate with a horizontal force of 3,000, or 345 meters, excuse me, 345 newtons, a distance of 24 meters. The coefficient of friction is 0.22. How much work is done by the worker on the crate? Okay. Let's see. Let's figure out what this is. This is the weight of the crate, the FG. This is the force the worker is applying, and this is D. And of course, mu is 0.22. How much work is done by the worker? Well, the work done by the worker is going to be the force applied by the worker times the distance covered. That's going to be 345 newtons. And the distance covered is 24 meters. So we get 8,200 joules. Now, how much work is done by the, by the floor on the crate? This is friction. Okay, force of friction is mu Fn. In this case, this is going to be mu times the weight. So the work done is going to be the force of friction times D. The force of friction is mu Fg times D. Let's see, mu is 0 0.220. Fg is 1,500 newtons. And the displacement is 24 meters. Now, what is the direction of friction? If I'm applying F, friction goes back, and D is to the right, this has got to have a negative sign. So, the work due to friction is negative, let's see, 7,900 meters. What is the net work done on the crate? Well, the net work is going to be the work done by the force plus the work done by friction. Now, the work done by the force is that 7,920 joules. And the work done by friction is negative 360 joules. Excuse me. Let me. I got ahead of myself there. I apologize. Happens. Okay. What happens when you switch pages?
The work done by the applied force is 8,280 joules. The work done by friction is 7,920 joules. So you get a difference of 360 joules. The net force, well, the net work is the net force times distance. So the net force is the net work divided by the distance, which is 360 joules, divided by a distance of 24 meters, which is 15 newtons. What's a crate's acceleration? Well, F net equals MA. Newton is always going to come back at you. A is F net divided by M. Now, we need to back up because we don't know M. I know FG is 1,500 newtons. And I know FG is MG. So the mass of my crate is FG divided by G, which is 1,500 newtons divided by 9.8. So I have a mass of my crate of 153 kilograms. So Come back over here. My acceleration is my net force, which is 15 newtons, divided by the mass, which is 153 kilograms. And I get an acceleration of 0 0.098 meters per second squared. Now, suppose I have a deliver delivery clerk carrying a 34 newton package. This is the weight of the package from the ground floor to the fifth floor, a total height of 15 meters. So D is plus 15 meters because it's going up. How much work is done by the clerk? Now I'm going to assume the force the clerk is applying is equal to the force of gravity. So this is 34 meters. So we're going to assume he's not wearing up. So the work done by the clerk is the force applied by the clerk times the displacement. So it's 34 newtons times 15 meters, or 510 kilos. What work is done by a forklift raising a, a, a 583 kilogram box? Well, three, two, three. Let's see, the mass is 583 kilograms. This time I'm not given the weight, I'm given the mass. D is 1.2 meters. Let me draw a draw diagram. FG goes down, and I'm going to have some applied force going up, and my displacement up. Now, I always assume that it's going at a constant speed, so F is equal to FG. So the work applied is going to be the force times D. The force applied is going to equal the weight. Now FG is in G, D. So this is 583 kilograms times 9.8 and the displacement is 1,200 So you get 6,000. Now you and a friend each carry identical boxes to a room, one floor above you, and down the hall. You choose to carry it upstairs and then down the hall. So this is you. You're in black. Your friend carries it. It's going to be your friend down the hall and then up the staircase. Who does more work? Well, it turns out you both do the exact same. Because the force is the same and the displacement is the same. Remember, work doesn't care how you get there, just that you got there. All right, what work is done if a boy pushes a box that has 30 kilograms of mass with a force of 50 newtons over a distance of 6 meters in 4 seconds? Okay, I got to give it a I know the mass is 30 kilograms. I know he applies force of 50 meters. And he does it over a distance of 6 meters. And time is 4 seconds. Now, 
Now, can you believe I would give you information you don't actually have to use in every problem? Of course you would. I do it all the time. So let's look here. The work done by the boy is the force applied by the boy times the distance. Right? So this is 50 meters. Times the distance is 6 meters. Or Now, a weight lifter lifts a set of weights at a vertical distance of 2 meters. Okay, so D is going to go up. And a constant net force of 35 meters, 350 meters, I'm sorry, is exerted on weights. What's the net force done? So let's see. F is 350 meters. And the distance is 2.0 meters. Now, these are both in the same direction, so the work is FD. So this is 350 meters times 2 meters, or 700 joules. Now suppose I have a loaded sled, takes a force of 250 newtons applied horizontally, so my applied force is 250 newtons, to push it across wet snow. How far can you be pushed if I have 